Lesson 9.3b, Simplifying Numerical Expressions with the Order of Operations. The order of operations is a rule for evaluating expressions in a certain order. PEMDAS can help us remember the order. We have parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide from left to right, add or subtract from left to right. We learned this in the previous video, 9.3a, which is linked in this description. An equation has an equal symbol. A numerical expression has no equal symbol. A numerical expression only contains numbers and operations. An algebraic expression may contain one or more variables, those are the letters, and operation symbols. When we simplify a numerical expression, we find what it's equal to. Here we have 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 in parentheses. We do in the parentheses first, so we have a 7. That means we have 2 times 7. That's equal to 14. When we simplify an algebraic expression, we just combine like terms and leave it at that. So here we have 2y multiplied by 3x plus 4x in parentheses, 3x plus 4x, that makes 7x. So we have 2y times 7x. We're going to learn more about this in chapter 10 coming up. So when we simplify a numerical expression, we're evaluating it. We're finding what it's equal to. We can use the order of operations to simplify a numerical expression. We have 6 plus 32 divided by 2 raised to the third power. We're supposed to do parentheses first, but there's no parentheses, so we're going to skip to the exponents. We evaluate 2 raised to the third power. That's 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. We don't have any multiplication, so we divide. We have 32 divided by 8. That gives us a 4. Then we add or subtract, whichever comes first. And there's no subtraction, so we're going to add. We have 6 plus 4. We know that 6 plus 32 divided by 2 raised to the third power is equal to 10. We skip the steps that aren't there. Here we have two problems. We have one here and one here. This one is 5 times 3 raised to the second power minus 4 plus 6. We have no parentheses, so we're going to go to the exponent. We evaluate 3 raised to the second power, which is a 9. Now, we multiply or divide. I don't see division. Let's multiply. That means we have 5 times 9. That gives us a 45. Then we add or subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. And we have subtraction, so we have 45 minus 4. That gives us a 41. Now we can add. We have 41 plus 6. It's equal to 47. So be very careful. We multiply or divide from left to right, whichever comes first. Then we add or subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. Here we have 72 divided by 3 times 2 raised to the second power. We're going to do in the parentheses first. 3 times 2 is 6. That means we have 6 raised to the second power. Now we do the exponent. 6 raised to the second power means 6 times 6. That means we have 36. Now we can divide. There's no multiplication, so we divide. 72 divided by 36 is equal to 2. And remember, the fraction bar indicates division. The fraction bar is also called the vinculum. If we have 10 fifths, we have 10 divided by 5. It's equal to 2. So this fraction bar indicates division. If we see 42 minus 56 over 2 raised to the third power, we think, well, there's no parentheses, so let's evaluate this 2 raised to the third power. That's 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. That means we have 56 eighths. Now, there's no multiplication, and this indicates division, so we're going to do 56 divided by 8, which is 7. There's no addition, so we're going to skip to subtraction. We have 42 minus 7. 
which is equal to 35. Remember, the exponent only affects the base that it's next to. And the contents of parentheses can be a base. So here we have 3 plus 1 in parentheses. We have to do parentheses first. And it's raised to the second power. 3 plus 1 is 4. That means we have 4 raised to the second power. We have 48 over 4 raised to the second power. We evaluate the exponent. That's 4 times 4. That means we have 48 sixteenths. We don't have any multiplication, but this indicates division. So we divide. 48 divided by 16 is 3. Now, we add. We have 190 plus 3. It's equal to 193. Take a look at this one. You can follow along with me as I do this. We have 5 plus 5 raised to the second power times 5 minus 5 times 5. There's no parentheses, so we're going to find the value of the exponents. So here we have 25. Now we need to multiply or divide from left to right. So I see multiplication here, and I see multiplication here. So that means we have 25 times 5. That's 125. And we have, let's do this, we have 25 here. So now we have 125 minus 25, and we have addition here. We have 5 plus 125 minus 25, and now we can do it. We have 5 plus 125, that makes 130, minus 25. That's equal to 105. We just slowly did each of the operations in order until we had the whole thing simplified, and we skipped any steps that were not in the order of operations. We finished the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the last part using exponents with grouping symbols. We're going to talk about parentheses, brackets, and braces. Just remember, if the operation is not in the expression, just skip it and move on to the next one. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.